What's up, everybody? Recording PS4 play games with the video capture can be easy, but sometimes you need more control over the other tracks, especially when you have an open chat with your friends and don't want to disclose everything, or you just want to share the video game audio depending on the moment. In this video I'm going to explain how I solve this problem, it's not the only way to do it, but I hope it can help others in the same situation, so let's begin. This is what you see when you import a gameplay with my current setup into a video editor like Final Cut. You get three channels with game audio, your voice and the audio chat, all separated so you have control over what you want to share. You can do this in many different ways, but the essential thing you really need is a headset adapter. So that's just a way to get audio out from your PS4 controller and the microphone in because when you connect your headphones to these you have your microphone and your headset in the same place so it's all in one cable but to do what we want to do we need to have something that separates these two channels into the audio that's going to be the the chat in this case, and the microphone, which is going to be the microphone that people is going to listen to you. This microphone doesn't have to be like the best. PS4 audio chat is not that good anyway. Like in my case, I'm going to reuse the microphone that I'm using. Like this is the one that I'm using right now to record this video because that's easier for me. And that means that I don't have to buy anything else here. Oh shit, I just turned my... <laughs> If you connect the adapter to your controller, you're gonna see that it's kind of like in the middle. If you don't like that, then you can buy you can buy a headphone extension adapter. That so you're gonna see that this has like three black lines. Uh, that's because it has microphone and the headphones at the same time. So that's what you want. So in this case, in, instead of having these right when I have my, I can have just these connected. And then this goes like away from me and then I can have this adapter right here that also has like the, the three black lines separation. So you have this and now the audio chat is going to come out from this headphone connection and the microphone is going to be connected to this one. So you have the chat set up here. Okay, so the setup is very simple actually, but I wanted to lay it out for you to see. So here's the capture device with the PlayStation. This is like the very simple one, like you have the HDMI and USB, nothing in particular here. Uh, but here you have the USB mic connected uh, via USB, which that's super simple. Then the headphones. Uh, that's going to be connected directly to your computer so you can have the mixing of both channels the other chat and the console video game and then you have the ps4 controller which will have the output to from the chat to your computer so you can record this uh, in your gameplay and also this empty one is for the microphone but i'm this is my microphone attached to the adapter i use a longer cable with my computer and this is the whole setup usb mic controller chat with mic and headphones to your computer. So to set up these uh, on OBS, you're gonna go to settings. In general, there's nothing to change. Then you can go to output and then on output you will have like the streaming options. If you really want to stream everything, uh, all the audio channels, then you, you're you better if you select the audio track 4, because then later you can just put all the audio tracks there. Then on recording, uh, I have output mode in advance, so I can change all these settings. Uh, I'm gonna give it on standard, and then for this recording format, it could be MP4, but the problem with mp4 is that if your computer crashes while you're recording if the file gets corrupted you're gonna lose the whole file so you don't want that so that's why people go with flv which is like a flash media 
a container that contains the, the same file. The quality is the same, it's just the, the way it's recording to the disk, it's better if, if something crashes, it's not going to corrupt the whole file. Problem with this FLV is that you cannot store multiple tracks per recording, so you cannot choose that. So you have to go either with MOV or MKV. I use Final Cut and that's why I go with MOV. Uh, but you could use MKV and I don't know about the other ones like I'm not sure but but be sure not to go with MP4. Then you have to have all the other tracks that you're gonna use selected. I use the one to three. Uh, maybe you would want to also have one that has everything mixed. I don't know. I don't like that but uh, it's a possibility. And then I use the encoder from NVIDIA because I have an NVIDIA card and it's supposed to be faster and consume less CPU, so that's that's why I go with this. The other settings on recording are not that important because you don't, at least for the purpose of this video. Uh, on audio, you can select the bitrate of every track. In my case, I go with uh, 192 for the PS4 gameplay and for my voice. And then I go with 128 for the third channel that's going to be the chat. Maybe you could even put it lower because it's uh, very bad. Then on audio you will see like you have the sample rate. I, use, I go with 48 kilohertz, uh, but it's not that a big deal. It's just that uh, Final Cut had some issues with 44. And then um, this, and this is just the video I recorded in 59. Uh, frames because my camera is also 59. If I ever want to sync two videos, that's easier this way. And then the important part is the other monitoring device. Uh, you would want to have these on the headphones. So your headphones are going to be connected to your computer because your computer will have the audio coming from the audio chat and the audio from the PS4. In your headphones, you want to listen to these two channels at the same time and maybe some people want to listen to themselves when they talk. So as you can see, I have all the sources. Uh, so by default uh, on the mixer, OBS is going to show these, these audio inputs. Otherwise you will see instead of PS4 friends or my voice, you would see microphone one, microphone two. And like, uh, it's sometimes tricky to know what it is. So it's easier this way. And also like, in the mixer, that's very important. You can select where does this audio go to and rush into the track. So the PS4, in my case, I want it to be the first one because it's the most important. Then the second one is my voice and the third one is the chat. In the track four, I selected every channel. So that way, if I ever stream, then everything is going to be sent to the stream. You could also uh, remove uh, maybe the chat. I don't know. It also depends on what you want, but but just to be clear that when you're using multiple tracks, if you want to output them to the stream, you have to select this. So if you go to settings on your PS4, to devices, and then audio devices, and then you're going to see that the input device and the output device, this has to be set headset connected to uh, your controller. And then you can check the the microphone level and you have to see it back on the headphones. Then be sure to have the output to headphones set to chat audio. That means that from your controller, only the chat audio is going to be going out. So if you ever tried this with your headphones, you'll notice that the chat audio is only in one ear. So what I did is just go to the mixer on OBS and set the track to mono. So the output to headphones is very important. So you have all the channels isolated. So when you go to Final Cut Pro to open these files, you'll see that by default, it will appear like this. So it only gets the first channel. Uh, so if you play it, you will only hear you will only hear the the audio from the game we have lost objective edward to hear to, to just preview everything and you can select all the channels so now, 
So now the three channels are playing at the same time. So if you if you remove this one, you'll see that it's only me. This is the chat, which also helps because when you're like scrolling here, you can listen to your voice and you s you can hear if you were saying something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like they, they they killed me here, so you can. So you can just put these and you listen <laughs> everything again, and then when you when you drag and drop this, you will only see one channel and everything here. You can right click on the on a timeline, and then you can say expand audio components. Then that will bring the three audios separately. Yeah. Let's put it like this, so it's like easier. So that's it. I hope this is useful for some of you that record videos with video captures. This could be done with any capture. I guess you can do this with any hardware uh, device. I'm not using any of the inputs that the, that the video car has, so uh, this can be done with anything. Just You just need uh, two microphones uh, or two lines to the, your computer and the HDMI for the game audio. So it's not that complicated if you think about it. It's just that uh, when I was thinking how to do this, it was like, uh, it wasn't easy to think how to do it, but in the end, it's not that complicated if you think about it. So yeah, hope you enjoy it and give a thumbs up if you liked it, uh, if it's been useful, uh, thumbs down if you don't like it and see you next time. Thank you for watching.